it to Friday. <laughs> Congratulations. Another work week done. Coming into the weekend. Hope you're looking forward to worshiping once again in the Lord's house on Sunday. So, let's talk about trusting God. And let's talk about things that we need to remember in order to keep trusting God when life hits hard, when things get tough. You know, the old, there was a, when the, when the, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. You heard that? How, how do we make it through these times? Well, you know, I don't know how people who don't have a firm belief and trust in a higher power, a supreme being, and a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, what are we supposed to believe? Is, is, are we supposed to believe that you know, th things uh, happen for, the, for a purpose if there is no God? Um, and so you know, when we go through things in life, I truly, truly wonder how somebody who perhaps is an atheist or something like that, how they make it through, the, how they find the, the meaning that keeps them going. And in fact, I think probably a lot of people don't. They go into despair and they sink into depths of, uh, you know, mental disease and sometimes even suicide. It's a terrible, terrible way to live, to live by yourself in, 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 your, in your mind, so to speak. And so Christians should be the people that actually are the ones that, you know, can, can show the way of making it through the hard times of life. And yet we all know that we ourselves are, are uh, we stumble and we fall and we're weak in this. So I've got four things for you to think about that are based on scripture that um, uh, may help you through to trust God when you're in the middle of a trial in your life, okay? The first th thought is, listen, know that nothing is by chance or luck. Now, you know, we use those words a lot. I do too. I and mean, then it's, you know, it's just kind of like second nature. Oh, good luck or whatever. But we, we need to back up sometimes and remind ourselves as a child of God, there is nothing that will happen to me. There's nothing I will experience in this life that is truly, purely by chance or luck. It really, there really isn't. If God is God and I have a relationship with him, then he oversees all things in my life. And so when I'm going through a struggle, when I'm challenged by something, one of the first thoughts that I need to understand is, hey, this didn't happen just by chance. There's a reason behind it. And guess what? You don't have to know the reason. But knowing that there is one, will get you along the way of allowing God to teach you what he wants you to learn. And that's the bottom line of, of just about everything. Um, in the book of James, it says this in the first chapter, second verse. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. All different kinds of temptations, trials, tests, whatever. It says, count it all. I don't matter, it doesn't matter what kind it is, whether it's something that somebody else has done to you to cause you a problem, or whether it's something that's just happened upon you out of, out of the clear blue sky, so to speak, with no apparent reason, although we know there is, right? He says, count it all joy. Why? Because it's an opportunity. What, what does he mean? Verse 3. Knowing this, that the trying or the testing of your faith works patience. And let patience have her perfect work so that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And so the, the trying, the testing of your faith creates a positive outcome if we understand in our minds and are looking at it that way, if we're saying, you know what, I count it all joy because this is another opportunity to me to have my faith tested. And as long as I keep my eyes on God and keep trusting in him, I will come out the other end of this with a stronger faith, 
with a better patience, with a better steadfastness, with a better ability to endure no, no matter what life throws at me. So, nothing's by chance. Second one, and these are closely related. Know that God can, uh, excuse me, <laughs> know that good can come out of anything that we endure. Maybe you're thinking of the famous verse right now. Romans 8, 28, we know that all things work together for good. Now, real quick, we need to back up. Define good. Now, all of us, you know, perhaps we would have a knee-jerk reaction of defining something good as something that we enjoy experiencing. That's good, right? And something that we don't enjoy, that's bad. Well, no, we got to define good and bad by how God defines it. So we have to accept the fact that even though sometimes we're going through something in life that doesn't feel good, we know that God is working a higher good as we experience and go through that. And so then, anything that we experience, something good can come out of that and we can benefit from it. Third thing, know that you can become a much stronger person by letting God walk you through the trials of your life than the alternative of living life alone without, you know, the conscious presence of God with you in your life. And so you, you can be a better person. God can shape you into a stronger person that can exude faith trust, confidence, belief, and, and strength in your life by letting God take you by the hand and lead you through the challenges of life. And then finally, know that God will reward you for having gone through the tests that we all go through in this life and staying steadfast with him and in him. So as we live our lives and we build experience upon experience upon experience of going through hard times, but hanging on to the Lord's hand the whole time and finding the joy in our relationship in him, regardless of the circumstances of our life, when we get to the end, when we get to the next life, God is going to reward you for that. But you need to hang on. You need to continue on, continuing on being uh, steadfast for God because he is always faithful to us. You want to trust God? Learn better when it's happening, when the trials are happening, to adjust your thinking and know that when you come out on the other end, you're going to be better off because of it. And every time you have that experience, you can come back to that for the next trial, the next test, the next challenge. And step by step by step, you'll just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And nothing will be able to shake your faith, your belief, your trust in your God. All right. We'll see you next week. Thanks.